go away. You really can't do anything but be drawn into the concert. You're pulled in. Female guitarists are sexy. Number one, Jappy Shredder. Yeah, it was a good band. She can't be stopped, really. So your name is? Marnie Stern. You do music of some sort? I do. But you can't, you're a woman. I got boobs, nipples, a butt. I got butt guts coming out of my butt or inside my butt. What else have I got that's feminine, my kooka? I have nipples, they're perfect size. Got a vagina. <laughs> I have a urethra. It's no big whoop. Okay, miss, please listen. I need you to remove the ethernet. I don't know what an ethernet <laughs> thing is, you ask. Is this Marnie Stern, the guitarist and lyricist from New York City? Why, yes, I am the guitarist and lyricist from New York City. Seeing as you don't have a kid, you've got a new record coming out. I do. The Chronicles of Marnia out next Tuesday, right? Yeah. Yes. This is your second record? Fourth. Oh, I see. Describe your music, please. It's like a mix of Celine Dion and Jodeci. All right. Sounds, uh, that's kind of fitting with the way you look. This is the worst tour I ever been on. What's happening? I'm leaving tomorrow to practice for South by in Chicago, and then we're going to head down to Texas. I have my outfit for tomorrow for the plane, and I have a big sweater. And we're ready. Love you. Yeah, I yeah. Mm, yeah. The bass player is Nithin Calvacoda, who I played with for a long time. And we have a new drummer on tour named Joe Wong. Who good static cling. We're here at the Indie Underground Music Festival, South by Southwest. It's a wonderful time if you want to just come and ignore the acts and drink, sponsor drinks with your friends. If you're in the music business, it's a good time here to, to make deals that have never happened. Check, check, one, two, two, check, 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 Austin, one, two. I'm sticking around for Marnie Stern, who's playing next. How many shows are you playing, Marnie? Uh, I think 12 or 9 or 8 or 10. Sick. We're How playing, many are you playing? We're playing 69. <laughs> South by South, yeah, shows. You know, I know, is this your first South by Southwest? Nope, Studio came here ball. a couple years ago, slept in the car the whole time. It was no. terrible. Yep, Don't. yes. You must have been so hot. Yeah, it sucked. But you were a teen. Uh, yeah. Did you do things with your penis in the car? Uh, Another person or by yourself with your penis? Have you ever done stuff with your penis by yourself in the car? Of course. What? Every time I got off my landscaping I'm job, I'd there. sit on the street in my escort and just j It was sick. J on tour? Surely I'm a lady. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm, uh, I may talk about it, but I'm a prude. Yeah, no. Taco Bell bathrooms, McDonald's bathrooms, Kentucky Fried Chicken's bathrooms, Wendy's bathrooms. I know who's mopping that up. Oh, you guys Matt. shooting in HD? Cool. F that's dope. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, Matt rolls left handed. Left 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 oh, okay. We all do left hand. It feels like someone else is doing it. Pitchfork pre party? I don't know what that means. It's pre? What does that mean, pre party? Oh, I gotta do my makeup fix. Oh my god, my eBay item sold. Gorgeous joie silk tribal print dress. Of course it did. That dress is gorgeous. Now what was I doing? Get you well Fred. What am I saying? Come to the show, you're on the list. Whose list? Pitchfork. Got it. You're on the P-fork list. See you soon.
Can I leave the car here? You might. Can I leave the car here? Uh, no, what they're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to go back out uh, that way. So you guys wanna load out? Fig, I love you, and you are so cute in Shirley's bag, and anyone who doesn't think so... Isn't human. Isn't human. She's adorable, right? Right, yeah, totally. Your dog is really cute. I'm just trying to find my mascara, and then I really am ready to roll. Wait, but I gotta park this thing in a while. people on tour in an average, like with random people? Zero. I'm happily married. Are you married? How long have you been married? 15 years. Lying piece of sh You're like 20. I hate you. I take my ring off when we go to South Park because I don't want to lose it. Lies. Your wife would kill you if you were married. You take her. She's scared. I don't want to take her. I just met this dog. I'm not down for the responsibility. That means you're not married. So we want to get barbecue or wings. I can't believe that band was playing while we were talking. I didn't know what it was happening. <laughs> it looks like lovely mood music. Stop the insanity. Let me eat my wings, you crazy lady. Hello. Love you, girl. Good night. See you soon. I I don't even. Oh, you're talk, phone singing. Will you talk to him and ask him where we are, where he is? Hey, Joe. Uh, this is Marnie's friend. <laughs> uh, where are you? Oh, cool. She's out back. You guys are playing here. Okay, he'll meet you in the back. We're in the back. I know. That's yeah. Are you married? Yeah. What? Oh my God! When did you get married? Oh no, we're not officially married. Not officially. Oh. Unofficially. Why, why are you single? They're oh, you're single. They're married, doofus. I'm an old cougar bag of shit. That's why. God damn it. I get it. Bye. An old <laughs> no way. Yeah. You gotta pee? Do what you gotta do. Yes. I would love to date Marnie. Are we there or what? This is the worst tour I ever been on. It takes forever to get everywhere. What's happening? I'm so bored. Oh my god, who's smoking a cigarette? I gotta do it. I can't live like this. How about a drag? Am I allowed one drag off one cigarette? You know what? I do look good with those kids and all their dumb kids and that kid's like, oh, that's my girlfriend. What does it mean to me? I didn't know these kids are these kids. Yeah, come on. Mm. Come on, buddy. No. Get, get, get away. <laughs> Peter. Who let the dogs out? Today is three shows. Starting at 12.45, Brooklyn Vegan Show. You see that blister? I ate so much last night. And that brownie was so good. With ice cream. I think there might be bed bugs if it's not mosquitoes. I don't know. But it's weird. No, 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 no. Because then don't dogs get the bed bugs bitten and then they carry them to the house? Probably. It's gross think about it. If you think about it, you don't have to think about it. It's gross. <laughs> what the f There's a giant hole in this ceiling right What's there. Where's Eric from the grind? 
Pardon. You guys, we have to register. Oh yeah, register. Otherwise, we're not gonna be able to park the car anywhere. Okay. Or get in. Where's the location of our first show? Where's the Brooklyn Vegan show? Does anyone know? Where are we playing? Okay, do we have time to do this register and still get to the old emos for the show? What's, I like, oh, no. I mean, emos is right here, the thing oh. is right there. We'll just try, and if you can't do it in 10 minutes, then come back. I kind of feel like any time spent at a rock club when you're not playing is a waste of time. During South By, it really is. On tour it is too. <laughs> on tour I like it because if there's a green room I can sit on my butt and just stare at my social media. That's where the thing is, that convention center. If you want to just run out, it's going to take me longer to drive up to it than it is. You're right, it will. So should I run out and meet you at Emo's? Yeah. Do you need ID or something? Got you want it. my ID? No. I don't have any ID, but they're just going to... You might to... need my ID. Give me your ID. You don't have your own ID? No, I well, don't, you... don't drink. Where's my pink purse? Get back in the car. We don't have ID. <laughs> you can't just walk in and say hi. I have emails. Where the f*** are we going? Oh my god, it's so... Jesus Christ. We're playing a show in like 45 minutes, and we're not registered, and we don't know where Marnie and Joe the drummer are. Okay, here we go. Just need to register for the band, the whole band. Okay. Everybody? Um, are you... So you're coming to pick up your wristbands? Yeah, yeah. and the parking st permits. Okay, stuff. great. If you can fill out this. Yeah. Okay, are the other two people here? No, but I was told that I can just do this for all of us. Okay, we don't give out wristbands for people who aren't here. So we can't give you a wristband if you're not here. Can I at least get the parking things, the car yeah. permits here? Yeah. All right. You should, that shouldn't be a problem. So we're supposed to play in five minutes, the Brooklyn Vegan Showcase, and Marnie and Joe are trying to park our car, and we don't, I don't know where they are. We waited for, for a while and didn't even get registered. Anytime we have to do something, it always ends up being some kind of like unnecessary crisis. <laughs> you guys are on deck. Yeah, we're on deck. Okay, we're on deck. How many times have you been to South By? I've been to South By like six times. Shut the f up! For real. Where are you from? I'm from New York. Me too. Oh my god! I've seen you at Glassland like a couple times. Um, yeah, we're playing right after you here, oh, so well, it's well, like. Yeah. Oh my god! Awesome! <laughs> How fun! Oh my god, I will. Yeah. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, Bebo, Vivo, Ar Argot Show, Martino, and I'm like, I was here for Interactive and I have my own company. So you're a hacker? I'm a bit of a hacker, it's true. Do you have any media, social media tips for the elderly people who don't know how to do it like you do? Um, Thanks, so, some great social media tips for artists. You want to you wanna be telling everyone on your Twitter. Uh, don't talk about your real life, just talk about where your shows are and just talk about... Um, don't talk about your real life? No, no, you don't, no one wants to hear about life at all. Everyone wants to hear what time your set is, where you are, how many strings you got on your guitar, and then so where... Are you listening? And then you want to have your artist data, always make sure you're linking back to your MySpace because people always want to check that stuff. You want to create a synergy between the brand and the band and oh. the friends, which are your friends. Oh. Which is my word for that, for the Interactive Week, friends. That's good, friends. Yeah, because they're your friend and your band, they're friends of the band because of social media. See those, that couple? Those people look like Coachella people, huh? On 6th Street, every single rock person looks exactly the same. If we were on an episode of SVU and you had to do a lineup, they, I couldn't pick out one from another. My e-cigarette has run out of cartridges. Me and Mac, huh? Mac D and M. Stern, we've been playing all the same shows. I'm getting to know his music. I've, my, I've, I've asthma a lot and I don't know why. How far are we now? How far away are we now? We're going to the Pitchfork Day Party. I'm not sure who's playing there. I think Outre November it might be playing there. Outre Novo, Venui, the Outre. Some. He plays R&B music. He plays the piano, and I think he plays love songs. This is the line of people waiting to get in. It's pretty enormous. When was the last time you waited on a line to get into a club? 
Actually, I wait on lines a lot to get into stuff because I'm too shy to say, I don't want to seem like a snot and say, hey, can you let me in? There's Judy. As much as I like the Upper East Side. Where did you go? Yeah. Do you find being 30 that you can eat less things that you wanted to eat before and you get gain weight, you get a belly? That started when I was like 27. It did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so do you work out? No, I walk a lot. Because I, my stomach, I don't know what to do. Crunches? I'm not going to exercise. Okay. Nationwide insurance. Fork party and the line is redonkulous. I would never wait on that line. It's too hot. I get a sunburn. My vagina would start to ache. If I was 22 and I came here, I would have a drunk every second of every moment. I'd be at every show having sex with every person. It would be awesome. I have a bunch of press at South by Southwest set up. So your name is Marnie Stern. And you do what? Have bed bugs or bites or something's going on on my body and it itches. So why am I interviewing you then? I don't know. Aww. We're switching to a hotel. It's a dump, but I would have been happy to stay here if we weren't in threat of being itchy and... and being devoured by bed bugs. Pretty gross. Yeah. It's really gross. It was like a real sh hole, like a, a, a fratty hippie dump. We go from bed bugs to executive floor. Thank you very much. The executive floor. This shower feels great. <laughs> Hi. No boob. <laughs> Let me entertain you. This oh my is the best. Yes. You've got a new record coming out next week. <laughs> yes, I do. And it's called? The Chronicles of Marnia. And uh, how many songs are on it? Ten. If you could pick any, any person to be the father of your child, who would it be? Hmm. I was going to say Abraham Lincoln, but he's dead. You don't have someone you, you fantasize about no. when, you're, when you're... I used to read my press. And now I have stopped altogether, completely. I've stopped reading the press because when it's good, I feel pressure to make it better. And when it's bad, I get depressed. So there's no point in reading it, none. It becomes confusing when your self-esteem gets tied up with whether your music is successful or not, because one has nothing to do with the other, yet they feel bound and you feel like you're failing if you're not popular and that is absurd and a terrible ridiculous feeling which is why I've stopped reading the press because I just can't I don't want to I don't want to have a life like that buzzy or not buzzy um is the album going to be successful or not uh not even is it good or not. I don't even know if people listen to the music of anyone. Any it's just more cool or not cool, uh, has been, or all of that. You know, at one point I felt like I was pretty buzzy, 
and then I wasn't really appreciating everything that was happening. I was just like, what's happening? Right. Now, I'll play 40 shows, because I, who knows, maybe I don't get to come again. Well, so, so I like it. Yeah. Like, what is this whole machine? And look at me, I'm so lucky. I basically, like, get naked to try and, like, I mean, I happen to not be shy. So my whole, I can put my whole personality, and that helps. But imagine a shy person who doesn't have chutzpah and is a great, talented person and makes awesome stuff. Maybe someone will hear it and maybe they'll put it out. But unless it's like, I mean, it's more likely that nothing will happen with them. Not a lot of people will hear it. gets around, I feel sassy and crazy! Last year, Evan and I went out to a dumb birthday and we got into a fight as usual and he said I was ugly or something. Let's go! <laughs> Happy birthday! Thank you. Thank you. To Barney? Yeah. Happy birthday! To Cliff! Birthday. To everybody! Yeah. Oh, oh, man. Man. I love you, dude. I'm so glad you were born. <laughs> Marnie? Clip. I want to wish you a happy birthday. I love you more I than you, you could ever know. Thank you. And I'm so glad you were born. You are seriously one of the most awesome people I know. Oh my God. Make you... me feel embarrassed and terrible. Guys, I'm gonna fall over. I had 25 drinks or something, or something. What if I don't live? You will live. Oh, no. Can I die? No. I mean, eventually, yes. Can I die? die.